All right, guys, so let's show you guys now how to create custom end marks. And in case you guys forgot, the end marks are these little graphics that are at the end of each panel. Okay, so they're all over every single module at the end of each panel. You see these little, this is a little leaf. Uh, and we talked about this before, and how to edit it was in the preferences section. So you can do that, you can get there by hitting edit and preferences or control plus. Okay, we're going to go to the interface tab. And right here in the first option is our end mark. So when previously when we were discussing it, we talked about setting it to these different preloaded end marks. Well, what if you want to create a custom one? Like let's say you have a logo graphic that has a little, you know, graphical feature like a little vector that you want to display, like this little flower in Linear Jirsa. Well, what I would do is go right here to the panel end marks folder. This is going to load it up in your Windows or your your Mac Explorer window, and you're going to pull up the image that you want to use. Now right here I've created a 60 by 60 pixel flower. This is our linen jersey flower. It's on a transparent background so I saved it as a PNG so the background shows up as transparent. And then the flower is in gray. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to copy it. I would drag and drop but since I'm screen recording it doesn't let me. And paste it right in here. Okay, now I'm going to go back to Lightroom. I'm going to close this because I need it to refresh. I'm going to hit preferences again, go to interface, and now it shows up as ljpflower.png. Okay, so if I select that, it shows up right there on my window. So that's how you guys would set custom graphics for your end marks.